On November 26, 1968, James Fleming, then a first lieutenant, was the aircraft commander of a UH-1F transport helicopter. Fleming went to the aid of a six-man Special Forces long-range recon patrol that was in danger of being overrun by a large, heavily armed hostile force. Despite the knowledge that one helicopter had been downed by intense hostile fire, he descended and balanced his helicopter on a river bank, with the tail boom hanging over the open water. The patrol could not penetrate to the landing site and he was forced to withdraw. Dangerously low on fuel, he repeated his original landing maneuver. Disregarding his own safety, he remained in the exposed position. Hostile fire crashed through his windscreen as the patrol boarded the helicopter. Fleming made a successful takeoff through a barrage of hostile fire and recovered safely to a forward base. Colonel James Fleming's profound concern for his fellow men, at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty, are in keeping with the highest traditions of the United States Air Force.